afternoon. You've caught me out on the lawn today doing some gardening. That's one of my favorite pastimes and hobbies and on a beautiful spring day it's a great idea to get out and prepare the beds for planting the flowers and vegetables that will uh, enhance the at least parts of our yard. Landscaping has always been an important piece of the uh, features here at the parish. I'd like to talk a bit of history though Back in the 1980s, shortly after the tower burned down and Father Arch Thomas became the pastor, he had a vision. And his vision was to change the way this entire campus looks. In those days, uh, particularly if you want to see, you can come in and watch the uh, fireman's video and you'll see Chief Winkle will be talking just behind where I am over here uh, to the news people and you'll see behind him a chain link fence, a high chain link fence that surrounded the entire property. Those were tough days for the parish. And as a matter of fact, his vision was to get rid of all of that and to begin replacing it with some of the more uh, distinguished things that make our parish what it is today. In the 1990s, while Father uh, Richard Saltzler was our, uh, uh, our pastor, uh, they had the idea to plant some little pear trees and kind of make an elegant entrance up into the rectory. Thirty years ago, those trees were six feet high. Today, they're pushing 20, maybe 30 feet high. And as you can see, they're uh, you know, getting ready to go into full bloom uh, here in the Easter season. Uh, a reminder of the new growth, the new hope, that not only did they see for the parish, but that we all see in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Here at the parish, this magnificent entryway to the rectory is a reminder that the rectory belongs to the people of God, and it's a great place to gather for meetings, for our big open houses. It's a great place for me to live as well. It's a very comfortable old house, even though it's now pushing 104 years old. It's a great place. Our pear trees will continue to uh, sustain the magnificence of our church, of our property, and will continue to uh, be a way to maintain the vision, the vision of the beauty of this place, the beauty of God's house. I thank you for watching today. Uh, come back in another uh, episode. You'll find me gardening even more. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I hope everyone will find a way to get in touch with God's creation by playing in the dirt a little bit, seeing what you can get to come up out of it. Thanks for watching.